Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2015 San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl between the Boise State Broncos and the Northern Illinois Huskies. And let's start this video off by taking a look at my keys to victory. Starting with Boise State in this ball game, playing inside out defensively, I think it helped them out in this matchup versus Northern Illinois. They want to attack you on the perimeter. You force those guys to go downhill and that way you can play great contain it'll help you play better defense as a whole and spreading the wealth offensively in the passing game I think would be a huge advantage in this matchup I like what they have in the backfield with Jeremy Nicholson I think they can get him involved in the passing game and also get more people involved in the passing game it expands that defense it makes you tougher to defend and creatively using strong safety Darian Thompson who's an NFL prospect in this ball game Finding ways to allow him to get pressure on the quarterback and disrupt that Northern Illinois offense could be a huge win for this Bronco defense. Moving over to Northern Illinois in this ball game, they have to have consistency at the quarterback position, whether it's Ryan Graham or Tommy Fiedler. Whoever's going to get the start has to be consistent. That's what plagued them and ultimately doomed them in the MAC championship game that can't happen in the Poinsettia Bowl. And taking Jeremy McNichols out of the equation is going to be key. You want to make Boise State one-dimensional, taking away their best player offensively can help you accomplish that. And the offense goes without say, has to sustain drives. That ties right into point number one about consistent play from the quarterback position. We know they can run the football. We know they have talent up front along the offensive line as well as on the flanks, but they have to be able to stay on the field versus a very tough Boise State defense. This comes down to one man versus one group or one unit. The Northern Illinois linebacking core versus Boise State running back Jeremy Nichols. He's rushed for over 1,200 yards this year a mountain of touchdowns. He's a one-man wrecking crew um, for Boise State. For Northern Illinois, they their linebacking core are all have the ability to get into the backfield and get tackles for losses. You're talking about Boomer Mays, Sean Foliar, Renard Cherry, and Jamal Payton. All do a great job of playing their roles and corralling running backs in the backfield before they have an opportunity to get going. In the end, I like the combination and the history of Boise State and how they play in bowl games to come out on with the victory, especially on the back of Jeremy Nichols. I'm going to go with Boise State X Factor. It's going to be running back Jeremy McNichols, over 1,200 yards rushing, 18 touchdowns. It's clear he could get the ball in the end zone. So I think that they're going to need to ride him in a similar way that they did against San Jose State where he had 191 yards rushing along with two touchdowns and one touchdown receiving. As far as uh, Northern Illinois is concerned, I, I think that they're going to need a, a couple big plays from their return game and that's why I'm going to go at Reginald Turner as the uh, X factor for them. Over a thousand yards in uh, kickoff returns, 1400 yards of total offense. He's a guy that could definitely make plays when they need them to be made. As far as the game itself is concerned, uh, I definitely say watch out for Sean Lurie. He has uh, eight interceptions. He actually leads all, all of uh, college football, so he is a guy to watch out for for Northern Illinois. But I think that uh, Boise State is going to be able to win. On, on the back of Jeremy McNichols, I have Boise winning this game because of their rushing attack. Not for... Northern Illinois, we want to look at Alden Colon, the offensive guard, who should be able to open up a few holes for their running game. On the defense side for Illinois, Northern Illinois, Boomer Mays, inside linebacker, he makes things go on the defensive side of the ball. Now, Boise State has one of the best players at their position in the country, and Darian Thompson, free safety, uh, who should get some day one looks. Deontay Dion, cornerback out of Boise State, will also be uh, looked upon. He's got a, a wiry frame, kind of like Logan Ryan, uh, former Rutgers player, now a New England Patriot. 
On the offensive side of the ball, Marcus Henry, the center, is keeping this Boise State offense honest. Remember, they've been a run-first offense, even when they had Kellen Moore. Uh, he just did a good job getting the ball down the field. And Kelsey Young, the running back, who will feed off of the holes opened by Marcus Henry and company. In this particular matchup, I do actually like Northern Illinois to pull off what will be considered an upset. Before he left Boise State, Orlando Skandrick definitely put in some serious work from 05 to 07. He was a freshman All-American, started 38 out of 39 games, and finished his Boise State career with 152 tackles, 3.5 sacks, and 5 forced fumbles. Brad C. Slack was a talented tight end from 2001 to 2004. He finished his Husky career with 47 receptions, 531 yards, and five touchdowns. He's also a member of the 50 greatest Huskies in program history, a first-team All-Mac performer as a senior. In the 2007 game, Navy took on Utah, and both teams were 8-4 coming into the matchup, and a shootout broke out after a scoreless first quarter. In the end, the Utes, led by quarterback Brian Johnson, were able to outgun and eventually sink the midshipmen 35-32. I like Boise State in this ballgame. I think freshman quarterback Brett Rippon has played like a veteran all season long, and he provides that balance offensively. And I think that balance will allow them to have a lot of success versus Northern Illinois. I know Boise State's defense will come ready to play. They'll have their stops, but ultimately this game will be won by Brett Rippon and that passing game and that offensive balance of the Broncos. And as we recap our picks, we're all going with Boise State except Chris. He's going to be the lone wolf and going with Northern Illinois. Outstanding matchup in the 2015 Poinsettia Bowl.